Minnesota now. Well, here's the Scarlet for the Sooners. Oh. She's like, I want this. She's like, you ain't got nothing that I can't deliver back. By the way, before her, A.J. Jackson had a 9-9. You notice, Bart, um, four of the gymnasts for the Sooners are starting from a 10-0 start value, a full and a half, Yurichinko, and um, that's going to help the Sooners with their total vault score compared to UCLA. They actually had a little bit of a rough warm-up, and also their, many of their gymnasts aren't starting from a 10-0. We'll see how it plays out. Last week, 9.975 for Maggie Nichols. Let's see what she can pull today. You know, one of the key elements that she has to focus on is keeping those feet perfectly together in oh, all of her elements. Such impeccable form. Look at that right. handstand. Yeah. She's like, I dare you. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> Look for a big score. Gosh. That was magnificent. I just love her facial expression when she, after she landed and then she kind of turned to the judge like, aha. Very impressive for Maggie Nichols. She look has technique, feet. she has form, style, and look at that execution. Probably why they call her Swaggy Maggie. She's just the next superstar for the center team. And it's just fun to know that she's only a freshman and we get to witness this for the next four years. Be able to land. Maggie Nichols now. Look at the scores so far today. Two nine nine two fives. You know, she's the number one ranked gymnast in the country in the in the all around. Of course it's after only one week of events, but right. uh, still she did come out of the box and cleated gymnastics with just a superb, calm performance last week against Alabama here in the Lloyd Noble Center. Well, and also, um, they're saying that it was one of the highest for a freshman all around ever, coming straight out about first meet. So we'll see how how it plays out the, the next several weeks as she competes, you know, like you mentioned, Bart, week after week after week, which is different than the typical elite season, which might be once a month or so. Last week, she was a little bit nervous on balance beam. So this is a much better um, performance of her confident level. I can just see that. There's the dismount. I love that she goes for double back. Oh, and a nice stick. You've got to love it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. She's just really amazing. Here they had a fall early on. She had to fight a little bit to keep that front tuck on. You see her going for this dismount. She spots the landing. Perfect. You know, it's amazing. She has the strength, the power. Final performer for the Sooners in their lineup tonight is Maggie Nichols. 9-9 nine, nine the score for A.J. Jackson. You can see the scores for Nichols. She scored 9-9-2-5 nine, nine, on everything tonight. And her floor is typically spectacular. Sooners in the lead by 1.3 over UCLA. She's really upping her game. That was better than last week. I just think she's coming into her own. Unique, full and a half to double twist. the music choice is don't let me down you know and she definitely won't be doing that flexibility shows doesn't it you see those leaps and they're above horizontal in this split position 
I just think her style, technique, and presentation is perfect for collegiate gymnastics. Right. She could dominate for a go. long time to come. Yeah. When I first met her, I said, I expect you to beat my records, and she just kind of grinned. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, babe. <laughs> I'm planning on it. So I, I think that's awesome. I mean, she's just a rock star, you know, and she's so humble. She's just a great kid. And she is. Fans around the country who admired how she handled